Hello guys and welcome back to my FAQ number 5. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and this FAQ series has, has had great feedback until now. So let's go straight into the questions. First question from David Santofanti. Hey Juca, great content. Is there a way to adjust the volume of the clean channel of the Boss Kitana? Katana? So it saves that when you use the GFC foot switch. Every time I switch the GFC pedal from distortion to clean, the volume is really low. Yeah, so basically you just have to adjust uh, in Boston Studio the levels for each... Um, if you're using like a clean channel uh, and then engage the distortion on the GFC, you have to make sure in Boston Studio that when the distortion is engaged, you have the exact same volume, and then save it. That just that's just it. Or you just can, or you can have like two different patches into different foot switches. Like in uh, channel one, have uh, your clean channel, and then on channel two, have your distortion channel with the exact same volume and probably same uh, same EQ and stuff like that. But somehow different effects. You can have like a clean channel on channel one. Channel 2 for rhythm, channel 3 for solo, channel 4 for weird stuff effect. But if you want to have just one foot switch controlling it uh, and you're, you're in panel mode basically, uh, that means that uh, every time you re you're set up your distortion, you have to, uh, before writing the patch, you have to make sure that the distortion volume is the same as the clean channel. So it's very easy. I hope I'll answer your question. And let's go for the next one. Hi Juke, did you have your own Boss Katana artists? And please don't get mad at me. Why would I? Boss Katana 100 or 50 watts, not for me. Because the open back cabinet and I'm not a fan of open back cabinet. I've been thinking about getting Boss Katana head or I heard Boss Katana artists fi uh, extra features. Bass bo boost and solo boost and like bottom hand, my tone and sound better and tighter. What's your opinion? Yeah, the artists close it back and uh, those have those, it has those extra features. They're great. Uh, the difference you see here is just the price point. The art is, is uh, way expensive uh, than the, the Katana. The Katana is very uh, affordable, in my opinion. But yeah, I do, do, do prefer also close backs because it tightens up the bottom end. Definitely, that's no, there's no question about it. But by using the Katana the way I'm using it now basically solves the issue. But yeah, I understand. If you want to have a, a, a tighter bottom hand, yes, I've tried the artist. And it gives you that special tone, um, more tightness and more bottom end uh, tightness as well. So yeah, it's better for that stuff and that's why it's more expensive. It's a great amp, so get it because the patches are all... Hope I answer your question, go for that amp, it's phenomenal, great. Let's go for the next one. Hi bro, I need some help. I have a fuzz pedal, fuzz pedal to use for Foxy Lady. What settings should I do on my Katana MK1 clean lead? Thank you. Well, I would go for the clean channel and um, try to put everything as flat as possible. I've heard somewhere that all knobs wide open up to 12 or 11, uh, it's the way the amp works flat. Now correct me if I'm wrong about this one because there's a lot of uh, um, comments and uh, on the internet people talking about this subject but for myself I would use everything at noon and also the EQ on the Boss Katana the parametric EQ on the Boston Studio it's, it's the only thing I would go into because uh, probably uh, as you guys know uh, it's not enough uh, FRF speaker but it kind of hacks like one because there's a huge range of frequency since you can connect a acoustic guitar into it. That's why it's always by default, uh, the high cut and the low cut are always off. So the only thing I would do is uh, go around with those two frequencies, high cut and low cut, 
and see uh, how much of, of the high cut harshness I could cut and the low end the same thing so the fuzz would, would work the best as possible. Of course you can use it on a, um, a distortion channel but that's already too much distortion it probably won't be a great great deal of, uh, of a tone. So I'll probably go into the clean channel. Some guys, uh, I don't know why, they like to connect the pedals into the Q6 channel and say it's the best platform channel for pedals. Uh, I don't have that experience, so um, for me it's still the clean channel and, um, and that's the way it is. Everything at noon, just go into the parametric EQ and make sure you can cut or boost some frequencies that might be missing. But that's what I would do if I had a fuzz pedal that I don't have. I mean, I do have a fuzz pedal here in Boss uh, OD200. And every time I connect it, that's the way I do it. It's like 640 kilohertz, uh, the high end cut, and the low around 60, and the, the, the uh, clean channel and everything at noon. No effects, nothing, and it sounds great. So, yeah, I think I can relate to that. Hope I, hope I, hope I answer your question. And let's go for the next one. Vic Stein. I purchased the Catan 100, was happy first two weeks, now after a couple of years struggling to get any decent sound of it and only use it at home. A year and there, I'm absolutely pissing off, pissed off with it. It's a real piece of... yeah, today just upset me more, I can even, can even get decent volume out of it. My cheap 100 practice amp that I found throw out in the street has more guts. And yeah, well, Vic Stein, you surely had some issues with your Boss Katana because uh, there's no shortage, shortage of volume on that amp and uh, it fits any venue, any style, so you better try it again. So the next question is from Brian Barn, 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 I don't know if I'm reading this well. I was all set to buy an Epiphone custom today. I got the store to close a look at one and was shocked. It was so poorly made and sloppy. The binding is uneven everywhere, paint is even, uh, is, isn't even on the frets are terrible. Uh, fitment issues all over the place and that was just, wasn't just me, just one. The guy grabbed some from the back, brand new in the box. You're getting off, you're better off getting a standard or classic or just spend the money on Gibson Studio or Tribute. Well, to be honest, I have a Epiphone uh, custom, Alpine white custom and of course th this is a Gibson Les Paul. But um, there are some differences, yeah, there are, of course there are some differences, not just in the, the, the wood, the, finish, con the finishing construction, because Gibson have really stepped up their game. Uh, and I know Glenn from Spectre Sound Digital is always messing around with Gibson, but I think it's a little bit uh, going too far with the Gibson thing. Um, they're not so bad as he, he points them out. Um, but, but my Epi Custom only had one issue uh, up to now, which is, uh, and I've talked to a few people online, that they have the, also the same issue, which is this uh, switch that uh, fails to activate one of those pickups. But rather than that, um, regarding the binding, uh, my guitar is over there right now, so I can't grab it. But regarding binding and construction, it's, it's, there's no issues at all, maybe you had... Um, into a store, you said you picked up several guitars. That's kind of weird because I, I honestly I bought mine online. I never seen it or tested it out. Maybe I got lucky, I don't know. But I think Epiphone has also stepped up their game and their guitars are great for the money. So um, maybe you give it another try and see if you can manage to get a good version because mine is great. Let's see, let's go for the next question. Hi Juka, first of all, congratulations for all the awesome job you do. Uh, you have done until now. Thanks, man. On the other hand, I was wondering if you have seen the Boss G GX100 and if in the near future you will test and work some patches for this unit. Yeah, already been in contact with Boss, uh, telling them to uh, send me one. Matt, are you listening to this? Hope you are. And um, if not, I will buy one for myself. Uh, great unit. I think Boss has uh, entered the market. I think it's, it was an, uh, kind of a neat thing, you know, because every other brand uh, is doing those touch screens and stuff like that. So I think Boss uh, wants to go on board with those brands. Uh, the competition, it's, it's clear, it's there, and they have to step up their game as well. Regarding uh, tones and the, um, the overall, uh, overall tone, I mean, the overall tones and, and, and sounds from the 
the X100. Uh, they're basically the GT1000, but they have the unit has less. Um, how can I say this? Uh, less advantages. The the, the the flagship is still GT1000, so we'll get more from the GT1000 than the GX100. But the price point is also different, and the fact that you can go and touch all those knobs is also a great deal. And uh, I think it's a great advantage. I would like to have one unit when you can go and with a touch screen and do all the stuff instead of going into Boston Studio because. Boston Studio is great, um, although it's a little slow, but for me it's great. Uh, but having that capability, capability of just drag and drop your blocks and stuff like that, I think that's kind of the future in terms of the modeling units. And Boss have entered the competition and I think it's a great unit. So if you can get one, grab one, if you don't have access to the GT1000, because basically they have the same tone, less features on the GX100, but it's the same thing as well as the car, great unit, so grab one. I'm hoping to get one soon. And the next question comes from David Bros. What are some other options on using an expression pedal on the Katana? Thanks, Juka. I don't know by this question if you mean other types of expression pedals, because there are those foot switches you can connect uh, uh, alongside with your regular expression pedal, kind of wah. But the options are endless. You, via Boston Studio, you can control almost anything, any parameter for any given effect. Like the booster, for example, you can control the drive, you can control the tone. On the reverb, you can control the tail, you can control the amount of reverb, the density. Anything you want can be controlled via the expression pedal and via the assignment tabs uh, in Boston Studio software. So you can do anything with the pedal. Now, if you want to have many things at the same time, you'll have to have lots of pedals. Hope you answered your question. Let's go for the next one. The next one and the last one from Bart GTK. Question, I Juka, are you planning on a new Boss GX100 review? Uh, I think I answered that. Matching videos already available on YouTube. Watching videos, sorry. I'm thinking of a review would be most accurate on us, considering the fact that you work on Boss products really speaks for itself and is outstanding quality-wise. Maybe comparison to GT1 style would be a great idea. Many thanks, Bart. Uh, yes, I'm considering not just getting one, but making an in-depth review of the pedal board and start making patches for the pedal board because I know there will be a community of users that will, will want to have patches for that board. As far as I know, it's not compatible with GT1000 and the core, which uh, is kind of a shame, but it is the way it is. Uh, Boss has those standards and they're all different from amp to amp. And stuff. Although all those files the SL files have the same files have the same end, um, but uh, they're all different from from amp to amp. Only some amps work with other amps. So yeah, I'm basically hoping to get one and make a, a review and then compare it to the GT1000. But bear in mind that the GT1000, uh, like I said in the previous reply, has exactly the same tones. So you won't be totally amazed by. I mean, you are amazed by the tone on GT1000. But it's not nothing, it's nothing really new in terms of amps and cabs, it's the same thing. You just have a new format with a touch, uh, touch screen and that's basically it. But yeah, I'm gonna do that very soon. So that was uh, the last question from this FAQ number 5. Uh, you guys probably noticed that I posted online that from now on all FAQs will be on Monday. Today is Saturday, I'm recording this every Saturday because it's better for me, because I have a lot of work to do during the, the week, creating patches and other stuff, editing videos and other content for you guys. And uh, that's why I decided to put this on Mondays. It's better for me, I hope you guys are okay with that. And uh, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, um, because it will help a lot. Uh, you also be can become a patron, because becoming a patron, I don't know if I've said this online, but if I haven't, I'm gonna say, gonna say it now. Uh, has lots of advantages because uh, basically you just need to acquire the premium pack from the Boss Katana. I'm going to post a picture somewhere here. After, the after that, uh, because the premium pack only comes bundled uh, up to bundle number 32, the rest of the bundles you have to buy them separately. By becoming a premium, by becoming a Patreon, you have, have access to all of those bundles for a fixed price because bundles, bundles vary in price. Some may cost 5 euros, some, some may cost 10. But by 5 euros a month fixed price, you get access to all those bundle, bundles, 
bundles. What am I say bundles? Bundles uh, for a fixed price. Plus, you get a lot of bonus content like guitar lessons, guitar riffs, uh, and occasionally I throw in there in the patrons folder some new pack that I just decided to give away to my patrons as a way to say thank you. So there's a lot of advantage in becoming a patron. You just have to acquire the Boss uh, Katana Premium Pack and that's it. Uh, all the bundles forever bundles will be all at the same price plus all these added bonus that I've talked about. You're gonna be very, very surprised that I throw in so, so many great stuff uh, inside the patrons folder. This is something I haven't never talked about online, but here's the tip and uh, consider that please. You're also supporting me um, and that's it for today guys hope you enjoyed this FAQ please stay safe uh, whatever you are and um, all the best all the luck in the world for you guys and I'll uh, see you on the next one cheers